good morning to all i am very happy to meet all the viewers in the present lecture today we are going to talk about production of x rays x rays are very very important and it has been used for more than 100 years in medicine and no patient walk out of the hospital without x rays it is used in the form of general radiography fluoroscopy mammography and ct scan and pet ct first we will discuss the discovery of x rays William Gunnar Röntgen the German physicist discovered x rays on November 8 1895 he was doing research by studying the conduction of electricity through gases under different pressures during that he saw a fluorescence in barium platinocyanide screen which is kept near the x ray tube the fluorescence is due to the invisible rays came from the anode of the experiment setup so he concluded that this invisible rays are x rays and he confirmed the same by repeating the experiment several times this is a historic discovery for which ranjan was awarded the first physics nobel prize 1901 so the right side you can see that this is a similar x ray to be used for the research purposes during this discovery so this is the laboratory setup in which he was conducting the experiment and where he discovered the x rays let us see some of the properties of x rays x rays are electromagnetic radiation of shorter wavelength it is in the order of nanometer they used to travel in straight line with a velocity of light that means 3 lakh kilometers it travels per second it is not influenced by electric magnetic field since it has no charge x rays penetrate through substances or matter that are opaque to light x rays can cause fluorescence and chemical changes it affect photographic films plate and form latent image it does ionization and excitations in a medium that resulting to biological effects let us see actually the right side uh, image which was taken by ranjan it is mrs ranjan's hands it is the first radiography taken in 1896 similarly the first x ray examination was conducted at the usa x rays were also used in radiotherapy for the treatment of cancer dr emil gruppe from chicago he used to treat a patient with 18 daily fractions for cancer of left breast in 1900 first x ray came to the present rajiv gandhi government general hospital chennai which was known as madras at that time it was the first x ray for a whole asia used for civilian purposes apart from x ray discovery there are also important uh, additional milestones which we are using it today one of the important uh, discovery is the transformer high voltage power supply transformer which was discovered by hc snook in 1907 then very important discovery is coolidge hot cathode x ray tubes which provided the production of electron with thermionic emission before that x rays were produced by ionization of gas so the coolidge tube is the first one which gave the idea that by heating a metal electrons can be liberated that we call it thermionic emission which can be used as the principle of x ray production in x ray tube this is the proto x ray prototype x ray tube based on which today we are using all the x ray tubes in by various uh, manufacturers another important discovery is 1921 by porter bucky grid in england so they devised a bucky grid by which you can remove the scattered radiation which uh, degrade the image quality 
so of course now we are using a moving grid it is better than the old grid which was developed there so later the development of rotating anode x-ray tip 1929 which opened the door for using high number of patients with much more heat tolerance so that is the reason why these rotating anode x-ray tubes are nowadays used in mammography uh, cardiac catheterization lab as well as in CT scans. So then followed by cardiac catheterization, automatic film processor and mammography etc. The next important milestone is actually computer tomography in 1973 which gives a cross-sectional image of the anatomy by Hounsfield in England. So this uh, Hounspiel was again uh, given Nobel Prize for this discovery of computer tomography. Then followed by Bax picture archiving and communication system, spiral CT and PET CT etc. What is the principle of X-ray production? When fast moving electrons are stopped, X-rays are produced. Fast moving electron possess kinetic energy which is measured by half mv square. m is the mass of the electron, v is the velocity of the electron. So when the electron is stopped, the v needs to be zero. So that is not possible. So conservation of energy says that the entire kinetic energy cannot be made zero. Instead, it is converted into X-ray photon energy. That is the reason why when electrons are stopped, the entire kinetic energy is converted into X-ray photon energy. So this X-ray photon energy also involves heat. If you go with the percentage, we get only less than 1% of the energy is converted into X-rays, whereas greater than 99% is converted into heat. So what are the basis of this X-ray production? Interaction of electron with the target material is the basis for X-ray production. The target material atomic number is very very important which controls the X-ray production. In general, X-ray tubes use a tungsten as the target material. The reason is it is having high atomic number of 74. This slide shows the various electron interaction steps with the target. There are four steps involved. First, the electron interaction with outer cell ionization. Then, electron interaction with inner cell electrons. Then, electron interaction with the nuclear field. Then, electron interaction with directly with the nucleus. In the first step, when the electron interact with the outer cell, it produces lot of heat and delta rays. In the second step, electron interact with the K shell electron and remove that electron, a vacancy arises. To fill up the vacancy, electron from the outer cells takes place and difference in binding energy is given out K characteristic X-rays. If it takes place in the L shell, it is called L characteristic X-rays. In the third step, electron comes to the nuclear field and interact with the nuclear field and produces brimstalling X-rays. In the fourth steps, the electron directly hit the nucleus and produces brimstalling X-rays. So this shows you the simple apparatus X-ray tube by which we can produce X-rays. Let us see the various components of the X-ray tubes. So this is the glass envelope of the X-ray tubes which is kept under vacuum. Why it is kept under vacuum? To avoid electron and air, air molecule collisions. Now the left hand side is the anode which is positively charged and this block surface is the tungsten target and the right side is the filament cathode. The cathode consists of tungsten filament and it is negatively negatively charged. Now when the filament is heated, electrons are liberated by thermionic emission. These electrons are attracted towards the anode 
where they are stopped and kinetic energy of the electron is converted into X-ray. So during this process, large amount of heat is also produced. So therefore, X-ray production needs very good cooling arrangement. Let us see the X-ray spectrum. What is X-ray spectrum? X-ray spectrum is a flat drawn between the X-ray intensity or the photon energy. You can see the X-ray intensity or the photon energy. This is the X-ray spectrum. The spectrum consists of two types of X-rays. One is called Brimstall X-rays and characteristic X-rays. The Brimstall X-rays are followed by this graph. And this is the characteristic X-rays having the selective peak. So in general, X-ray spectrum is two versions. One is the unfiltered X-ray spectrum. This is not in reality. This is only ideal condition which obey the Gramers equation. What it state that intensity of the particular energy X-ray equal to a K is a constant value. Z is the atomic number. The maximum energy minus the energy of the X-rays. But in practice, we always get filtered X-ray spectrum, which follows this graph. The filtered spectrum consists of all possible energies. The mean energy is equal to 1 by 2 to 1 by 3 of the maximum energy. Alternatively, half value layer is also used to describe X-ray energy spectrum quality. Brimstall lung means breaking radiation in German. It is due to radiative collision between electron and nuclear field in the target. The electron undergoes sudden deflection and acceleration by the action of Coulomb forces of attraction. As a result, the electron velocity reduces. The energy is converted into Brimstall lung X-rays. The probability of Brimstall lung is very very low. It is around 1 to 5 percent. The Brimstall lung probability is proportional to Z atomic number and kilo voltage peak value, kilo applied kilo voltage. That means as the atomic number increases, the probability of Brimstall lung also increases. As the applied voltage increases, probability of Brimstall lung also increases. What are the factors influencing the Brimstall lung X-rays? Applied KV, target material Z value and tube current milliampere and the exposure time, the type of filtration we use and the electron distance from the nucleus. Suppose if you are very close to the nucleus, you will get different energy. Away from the nucleus, you will get different energy. So basically, Brimstall lung is a continuous spectrum having all possible energies and wavelength. This slide shows that how the electron interact at different places. Suppose if you take the root 1, the electron goes very nearer to the nucleus and convert maximum energy into X-ray. Alternatively, if you follow the third root, electron goes away from the nucleus and produces very low energy Brimstall lung. Intermediately, if the electron goes in the middle of the nuclear field, it gives moderate energy. So in nutshell, the Brimstall lung production may have low energy, moderate energy and maximum energy during the electron interaction. So coming to the characteristic X-rays, it is due to electron interaction with the orbital electron. Transition electron from higher orbit to inner orbit is the basis for characteristic X-rays. Let us take the figure, you can see the consider the k electron here. When the electron comes and interact with the k electron, if it is removed, k electron is removed, there is a vacancy. To fill up the vacancy, electron comes from the higher orbit. So during that, what will happen? The difference in binding energy is given out characteristic X-rays. So if the this characteristic X-rays interact with the same atom and removes another electron that is called auger electron. So, characteristic X-rays always there is a possibility of production of auger electron from the same atom. Characteristic X-rays consists of discrete energy usually called a line spectrum. 
it is a characteristics of an atom of the element suppose characteristic x rays can come from adjacent transition which is denoted by alpha characteristic x rays as you see here in the diagram if it happen in non adjacent transition then it don't be beta rays in medicine only casual transition is very very important especially in diagnostic radiology so what are the condition for characteristic x rays the electron energy must be greater than the binding energy the x ray energy is lower than the casual binding energy and it find wide up, uh, it find application in mammography filter is always used in x ray production it is a metallic sheet kept in the x ray beam path it absorbs low energy x rays reduce patient dose it hardens the x ray beam as a result the mean energy increases so you can see in the diagram this is the unfiltered spectrum if you add the filter the spectrum becomes smaller and the average energy increases so therefore in general what we use in practice is we use a total filtration which consist of inherent filtration and order filtration inherent filtration is inherently available in the x-ray tube whereas order filtration is a add on filter used by the manufacturers to get the intended x rays what are the material used as a filter aluminum used as a filter material the atomic number is 13 copper is used as a filter material the atomic number is 29 heavy metal filters like gadolinium and homium is used as also filters in the diagnostic radiology what is the recommended filters for the x ray tubes if the x ray unit is uh, around 70 kv less than 70 kv the minimum required filter is 1.5 mm total filter required is 1.5 mm included including the inherent water filter if the x ray tube is operating between 70 and 100 kv the total filter is required is 2 mm aluminum if it is operator greater than 100 kv the required filter is 2.5 mm aluminum thickness in summary x rays were discovered by w c ranjan in 1895 he used uh, gas tubes while studying passage of electricity in gases so the x ray consist of x ray production consist of 99% heat and around 1% x rays x ray penetrated matter and produce uh, images x ray spectrum consist of brimstone lung and characters x rays brimstone lung is a continuous spectrum find wide application characteristics is a line spectrum used only in mammography filters alter the spectrum both energy and intensity i hope the video is beneficial to you we will meet in the next lecture kindly subscribe and succeed thanking you once again